Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're going to talk about top selector footer hype who made a post on his Instagram page revealing to the public that he is now receiving some serious death threats as it relates to coffee. Of course, you know, say footer hype come out and speak about coffee and stuff like that. Zine people, well, footer make a post not too long ago saying that in my ears, the people and put $25,000 pan him head. Yes, my people. So you don't know, it seems like they might try to get rid of footer hype. And of course, me I talk about $25,000 US dollars. We're not talking about Jimmy. Dollars. You understand what I say? But footer hype seem for a clap back and it seemed like him not really fear them. So I'm going to show you him actually post over upon him Instagram page. You understand? Also, I'm going to talk about Baby Sham or Sham, who is one of the persons them who is now defending Usain Bolt. And of course, most of you are supposed to hear the news that Usain Bolt lost over a billion Jamaican dollars after investing it in a firm in a Jamaica. So you don't know, he might get defended. Usain Bolt also made a post which kind of seem like he is actually um, reacting to losing so much money. So I'm going to show you what I go on this as well. You understand? Also, remember Angel Dulas, Zane, who recently lost his son. He actually lost his son on the 1st of January, Zane. As the New Year's strike, the man end up losing his son. Well, he is now reminiscing and basically make a post in remembrance of his son and things. So I'm going to show you the post where he make. Zane, people. And also, I see a post that talk about dancehall artist Jafras is now hospitalized. Yes, yeah, people. I see some people are talking about it, but I'm not 100% sure. So, I'm going to say the entertainer is allegedly hospitalized because you know how enough of them artists that get to work could also be a music video shooter or whatever. Yes, yeah, so before I go no further into the topics, don't forget to for like this video, don't forget to for subscribe, and make sure you click the notification bell, put it on all. That way you can get notified when I post a new video. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is select a footer hype, letting the public know what's going on as it relates to some people who put some money upon him head. So as I say, it seems like they want to get rid of footer hype finally now because you don't know a lot of persons feel like a footer need for stay out of people business then. Zin, stop speak on coffee and just let the girl live. You understand what I say? But we have to remember say footer hype him is a part of the entertainment fraternity. He's a selector. So you don't know him to speak on things as it relates to music and them thing here, but you don't know it like some of the people them just know what you're not know him to say. So anyway, Futa I basically met that post over upon him Instagram page. Zin so him say, So I am getting death threats from Coffee B Man team saying they put 25k on my head and him put some crying laughing emojis. Tell Dutty Coffee keep the money and try back try buy back a soul. Cause the one way I have done. Yeah, Zin, my people, but him never stopped there. He also tag coffee in the caption and say, B A T T T I. You know where I said this. So, them people they can't scare me. Coffee, you stink like S H I I I I I T. Dutty Demon Girl and me run Jack Row. So, coming at so come in uno thousands and few, but uno send threats. Ring uno mother. Yes, it, my people. So, footer hype is not backing down. He might diss them, tell them about their mother, and he might make them know, say, look. Him come with Jack Crew. You understand what I mean? I said, they can't stop him. There's nothing that them can do for actually stop him from speaking his mind. You understand, people? So, I don't know. We're not thinking about this still. People them put money on foot of hype head according to him. You see it, my people? So, I don't know. When you can look out for footer hype, I go live for actually speak on this. Maybe later when you see me put out a next video. So make sure you not have a notification bell for all. Just in case that happen. But that's our footer hype officer right about now, people. So where do you think the selector need for though? When you feel like him for just leave coffee alone, make sure you do what you want though. Because I don't think footer go stop you no know, people. May I tell you no plain and straight. Him now go stop. If coffee goes up and drop a next video where him not like, he will be talking about it. He will be coming out swinging. That is just footer hype. So people have to just understand and just know say, him that. Him, him always a talk about things as it relates to music and entertainment. And I think he actually has the right, you see me, to be honest, because he have a smartphone, he have Instagram, he have all of the tools them. So if he want to talk about it, I mean, I say the way I go about it is the right way, you know, people. But everybody do things different. And, you know, he must say, speak up for righteousness. So... I can watch and see what I go on. Footer have to be very, very careful, people. I do not lie. Things definitely look a bit serious right about now. So, you have to be careful because you have some people out in the world who will 
risk their freedom for different entertainer, you see it? But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about legendary sprinter Usain Bolt and also Sham, who is also defending um, Usain Bolt. You understand, people? So, you know, Usain Bolt is clapping back after losing over a billion dollars, people. Jano Star. Imagine you lose even ten thousand dollars. I'm not talking about US, you know, ten thousand Jamaican dollars and you feel that. So imagine you lose over a billion dollars. The man lose one billion four hundred and add million um Jamaican dollars, people, you understand? So I'm mean, getting at this story right now so I can understand how you see in bold feel as it relates to losing so much money. Zimmer people. So this is what the story I say. You see in bold calls out SSL fraudster with cryptic words sung after losing US $10 million. Retired sprint legend turned music producer You see in bold has taken a job at the white collar criminals at Stocks and Securities Limited SSL who are responsible for fleecing his investment account of approximately $1.2 billion, just under $10 million million US dollar leaving only 2,000 US dollars. The news broke last week causing outrage and confusion among many of the track star fans. Bolt on the other hand was tight-lipped until this morning, January the 16th, when he posted a five-second snippet of his 2022 track Cryptic World on Twitter. In a world of lies, where is the truth? The history evil. What is the root? Money. Hashtag cryptic world. According to a report by the Jamaica Observer, Bolt is one of at least 30 victims of fraud at the financial institution. Bolt funds, which were deposited in 2012, were reportedly allocated for his retirement. He reportedly never made a withdrawal. According to an Observer source, SSL was aware of the fraudulent activity since August 2022. However, the suspected culprit was still employed up until January 11, 2023. The company has involved the authorities in conducting a thorough investigation. So yes, more people, that is what's going on now as it relates to you seeing Bolt and stuff like that. You see, more people. Um, them definitely do the man dirty. I'm not growing the people. And you know what? What me, me can't trust a lot of these companies. I'm going to be honest with you, no people. They knew about this whole situation from last year, 2022. August, them say, right? And you see in both, just a find, find out about this situation. Couple of days now, my people. You know, I feel like something like this should have been brought to his attention long time ago. Seeing people, the man goes to Bob's and invest 10 million well not 10 9 million something zin us dollars in people so of course you know we are talking about over a billion jamaican dollars like 1 billion 500 and something million 400 and something thousand and you understand what i say people are holy for money that so you can just imagine how you see in bold feel right now and the money was for his future retirement money that people and them trouble the man money Ah, boy, may I tell you. So, I don't know. Hopefully, he'll get back his money. You see, and Bolt is very worried right now, my people, that he will not get back any money. You see what I'm saying? And to be honest, he might not get back the money. Well, I just attack it plain and straight, people. I am hoping that's not the case. But he might not get back his money. And all of the other people, him, you see what I'm saying? If me did even have $100,000, let's just say that's all I lost, I would have won back my money. So, much less you see an old last over a billion Jamaican dollars, my people. Anyway, let me know if you don't feel like you're saying Bolt, I'm going to get back the money. You understand what I'm saying? And since we even talk about Bolt, we're going to move on to a video that Baby Sham or Sham posted on his Instagram page. Zin, my people, and he is basically defending Usain Bolt. He might call out the Prime Minister. He might talk up a whole heap of things. So, I'm just going to get right to this video now. And uh, only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. Is it? Listen to what Sham Officer. Jamaica, what are going What really are going Oh, someone like Usain Bolt that has given the country so much. You know what I mean? And has done so much for the country. Tourism and a whole. Just giving so much joy to the people. How them can fraud this man of him retirement money? And I don't hear the Minister of Finance speaking out. I don't hear the Prime Minister speaking out. I don't hear the people who we put in this power to oversee and make sure them protect Jamaicans. What are they trying to say that? We Jamaicans should not invest in our own country. You don't look good. Not looking good at all. 
You know what I mean? We need to step up, we need to speak up, we need to hear from the Prime Minister, we need to hear from the Minister of Finance, we need to hear from these people what they're going to do to make sure that you see Bolt can smile. You know what I mean? He deserves that. He has given all of us so much joy. You know what I mean? And done so much for the country. This is Jamaica. Do better. All right, my people. So, you know, you can see Sham definitely hurt as it relates to Usain Bolt losing so much money and things. You see me? Usain is a man who do so much things for Jamaica. You see me? The man who waved the banner high as it relates to our country, people. The man who represents Jamaica to the best of his abilities. The man who opened up business and tried to help the people in Jamaica. You see what man say? As a matter of fact, people, you know, the man is one of our biggest um ambassador for Jamaica. You see me? And I this what them do to him. Why oh boy? I don't know. Let me know when you think about what Shama says still. Is it my people? Leave it in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist Angel Dolas, who recently lost his son. You know what I'm people? And his son was actually taken out on the 1st of January. You know what i Basically, as the clock strike 12, sometime after that, his son was taken out. And you don't know, he was taken out by... Um, Members of the security force, his own man says some soldier basically goes a boom boom and can him up and thing. You see me? He was conned multiple times and end up passing away and stuff like that. Now, Angel Dulas did even go live and you don't know him did a speak in mind and stuff like that. You see me, people? So today I'm actually make a post on him Instagram page and basically him post that photo that you're seeing on the screen. See my people? And in the caption, him say, The smile I had. Just minutes before getting the shocking news about my son. Noel, when will I smile like this again? R.I.P. Hashtag Noel. You see it, my people. So, you know, he's very heartbroken as it relates to him, son. Because you don't know him, no, know when him going to ever smile like that, people. And it's sad. You see me, even Bounty Killer go over there for actually, you know. Um, show some condolences to the entertainer. Bounty post up some broken heart emoji and flying dove and prayer emoji and all these things. So he's getting a lot of support and stuff, but you don't know when it comes to losing a child. And you know, it, it is just something where it's hard. <laughs> you know, my some people trust me upon that. So that's how I'm gonna know the post that Angel Dolas made over on his Instagram page. You see, my people, no continue keeping me now on the prayers and stuff like that. You see me? So. That's how I make know what's going on. Is it? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist Jaffras and a post that i seen on the internet. Zine. And you don't know me see a couple people talk about it. They must say Jaffras. Well, some people have said the entertainer get can. Now people, I don't know if this is a music video shoot or what. But I still have to talk about it because it's on the internet. And people have said the entertainer hospitalized. Is it people? But... Um, this is what the story has said. Dancehall artist Jaffras hospitalized. A viral photo of dancehall artist Jaffras has been circulating online that has fans sending prayers and worrying about the DJ's well-being. In the picture, the wrong move artist can be seen lying on a hospital bed facing the wall while being attended to by a nurse. While it is still unclear what happened to the DJ, most of the fans are guessing that he may have suffered injuries in a car accident. At the same time, others are claiming that it is a clip from the dancehall star's upcoming music video. It is also important to note that neither the artist nor any member of his team has sent out a response regarding the viral photo that has been circulating. These days, it has become commonplace for dancehall musicians or members of their production team to release controversial video clips of parts of their upcoming projects. Whatever the case turns out to be, there has since been a high volume of support and prayers pouring out for the artists from fans and bloggers in the dancehall community. All right, people, so that is what's going on as it relates to Jaffras. You understand? And as I say, this obviously can be a music video, but I don't want to say that's the case because, you know, more than one fear say at that when time or something actually serious. You understand what I mean? I say. But I feel like say maybe not nice. Well, not nice is a man who not really make a bag of posts like that. So maybe not nice now because say nothing about it. But either way, people... You know, we just hope the entertainer, all right. That's all I'm going to say. If it's a music video, then, you know, hopefully it go viral for you and you get all the views off of it because 
people obviously are talking about here. You see it. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.